you're going to triumph through sheer sacrifice? That is what trash does. I already put one hole in your stomach. Just die already. The strong have no need for honor. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we are going to be taking a look at one of the more flamboyant officers of the Don Quixote Pirates, Dellinger. Dellinger is a fairly slim teenage boy with an eccentric fashion sense immediately distinguishable from his large white baseball cap, giraffe patterned shirt, Kylie Minogue cut short shorts, and of course to complete the ensemble, an elegant pair of formal high heels. Dellinger's personality matches his fashion sense extraordinarily well, often being loud, highly energetic, and generally carefree. However, just like his outfit, Dellinger's personality often clashes with itself as he can flick the switch from all of that to being easily irritable, sadistic, and bloodthirsty. Although this state is often reserved for combat. Part of the reason for this snap aggression may stem from the fact that Dellinger is a human fishman hybrid being, quite specifically being a fighting fish fishman. This can be evidenced by the fin on Dellinger's back, as well as the obvious horns on his head, which are generally hidden by and mistaken for a stylish baseball cap. However, whether Dellinger is being delightful or destructive, the common trait in both forms is that he is wildly arrogant, which combined with everything else I've just said, makes Dellinger a perfect addition to the Don Quixote Pirates. Dellinger joined the crew when he was an in for 12, I guess joined probably isn't the right word. Dellinger was adopted into the crew after being abandoned at birth and discovered by the Don Quixote Pirates. As by far the youngest member of the crew, Dellinger was raised primarily by Jora, but that did not stop him participating in the notorious activities of the Don Quixote Pirates pretty much as soon as he could walk. One such activity included the infiltration and takeover of the Nation of Dressrosa, which occurred 10 years prior to the current timeline. As the crew settled into the kingdom and Dellinger grew older, he became a regular participant in the Corridor Coliseum, representing the Don Quixote Pirates. As a fighting fish, Dellinger was born with highly advanced physical abilities and was able to lift cannonballs at the mere age of two years old. Although the greatest testament to his modern day strength is the fact that Dellinger was able to kick and move Mark Weiss, a man who has the ability to increase and decrease his weight by tons. At the time, Mark Weiss weighed 10 tons, and Dellinger just casually kicked him, although it should be noted that it did cause him a fair bit of pain in the process. With that in mind, Dellinger definitely favours kicks in combat, which may even go towards explaining why he wears high heels, as most of his attacks share the name with that type of shoe. For example, he has an attack named Decapitation High Heel, which, as the name implies, is potentially strong enough to cut off a person's head. Speaking of heads, Dellinger also often engages in battle using his very deadly horns. In order to make best use of them, Dellinger will launch himself at an opponent with the aim of impaling them, much like a spear. In addition to this devastating power, Dellinger is also able to move with superhuman speed, fast enough to create after images of himself actually. And finally, Dellinger also comes equipped with a vicious set of teeth for numbing. Although rather interestingly, being a fishman-human hybrid, Dellinger is able to choose between having normal teeth or fishman teeth at any given time, through his ability to instantly regrow teeth. A trait first demonstrated by Arlong, a saw shark fishman. But as an integral member of the Don Quixote Pirates, Dellinger was present when the Straw Hats and Trafalgar Law infiltrated Dressrosa with the goal of taking down Doflamingo. During this time, in a weird sort of game of assassination dominoes, Dellinger was ordered to assassinate Bellamy, who had been ordered to assassinate Luffy. Dellinger was easily able to defeat the already wounded Bellamy, however he would be unable to finish the job as Bellamy was saved by Bartolomeo's Barrier Devil Fruit ability. During the assault on the palace, Dellinger faced notable opponents such as Suleiman, Blue, Gilly, and Ideo, managing to comfortably deal with all three in a relatively swift manner. However, when Dellinger left to assist Bellamy, fellow Don Quixote pirate Gladius, he was defeated instantaneously with a slash across the chest by Cavendish, who had transformed into Hakuba. Dellinger then remained out of action for the rest of the arc and was arrested by the Marines along with most of the other Don Quixote pirates. Some more fun facts about Dellinger. Given that he was adopted when he was less than a year old, Dellinger is the youngest known person in the entire series to join a pirate crew, which also makes him one of the only characters, if not the only character in the series, who has never known anything but a life of piracy. Dellinger's character design led many fans to initially believe that he was female. However, Oda said that his aesthetic senses were cultivated as a result of being raised by Jora, who, well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. While this was only shown in the anime, when Dellinger was cut by Hakuba, he was shown to be visibly worried at the sight of his own blood, possibly implying that Dellinger had never been wounded before or had ever met anybody who could outdo him in the art of speed. And finally, a truly useless fact, the fighting fish that Dellinger takes his DNA from does not actually exist. Well, at least not in the way that Oda draws them with horns and fangs, which makes Dellinger the only fishman thus far to be inspired by a fictional species. And that pretty much does it for Dellinger. 
If you enjoyed this video then feel free to like, favourite or subscribe and if you are in any way keen on supporting independent creators then also feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. Finally please do comment with who, what or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.